Hello, I am Tim Mayer. Thank you for joining me for the Art at the Castle series. Sometimes the history of a particular work of art can achieve more attention or recognition than the art itself. This late 16th century Mannerist style painting of Venus and Cupid is over 400 years old, yet its most dramatic history was over a 75 year period when its whereabouts were not widely known. During World War II, the greatest displacement of works of art in history occurred, mostly due to appropriation and then forced auction by the Nazi government, something called Juden Auktionen, and unlawful flight taxes called Reich Flugsteuer, aimed at stripping Jews of their assets. Jakob and Rosa Oppenheimer, the art gallery owners to whom this painting belonged, were additionally targeted with public denunciation as Jewish capitalists. There is wide consensus amongst United States Museum Art Associations and others that the Nazis were fascinated by creating a legal framework for their art theft. Their penchant for re record keeping eventually helped the stolen art return to the families of their victims. We do not know who the painter of this oil on canvas was, but experts believe it to be a follower of Paris Bordone. It appears to have been copied from parts of two other paintings by Bordone that are in museums in Paris and Vienna. William Randolph Hearst's agents purchased this one as one of three Venetian paintings from the Goldschmidt auction in Berlin in 1935 when the entire Oppenheimer Gallery van Diemen stock was sold. In 2007, an attorney representing nine heirs of Jakob and Rosa Oppenheimer living on three continents located the three paintings at Hearst Castle and made a claim with the California Department of Parks and Recreation for the return of the art. After reviewing their claim, it was determined to be valid. After copies were made, two of the paintings were returned to the family in 2009 through agreement with California State Parks, the Hearst Corporation, and the Oppenheimer family attorney in Paris. The family agreed to allow the Hearst Monument to retain the Venus and Cupid painting. The story being told is of Cupid attempting to retrieve his bow and arrows, which have been confiscated by Venus for presumed mischievous behavior. Jakob and Rosa Oppenheimer fled to France in 1933, but were captured during the Nazi occupation of France that began in 1940. Jakob died while imprisoned in France in 1941, and Rosa died at the Nazi death camp Auschwitz in 1943. Telling this story is an ethical responsibility and an opportunity to honor the memory of Jakob and Rosa Oppenheimer. This painting is displayed in the north wing of Casa Grande and is seen on the Designing the Dream tour. It may be requested on private tours and special focus semi-private tours such as the Art of San Simeon.